What's up everybody? I'm Andrew Cannon. I'm the Santa Cruz Skateboards brand manager. And today, this is what we are skating. This is the Fabiana Delfino Taro Power Ply deck. This is 825 by 31.83 inches long. And this bad boy has a 1425 wheelbase. Now, before we get more nerdy about this board, I just wanna let you know that today, if you're not getting Wayne's World vibes from me, that means you've never seen the movie and you need to immediately, but, I'm wearing this whole Vans Santa Cruz collab. It is out now, but it's exclusively at Zoomies. I'm gonna tell you, go support your local shop. If you don't have a local shop, buy online, buy wherever you want. But this collab that we're super excited about, we've got shoes, multiple pairs of shoes, full sweat kit, shirts, all that stuff, socks, book bag. It's available right now, you can go get it. We got the holidays coming up. Get it up, get it for someone special. Back to this Fabiana board. All right, so the nose on this board is a 6.9 inch nose and the tail is a 6.48 inch tail. Um, this board's gonna be a lot of fun to skate. Just so everybody knows out there, a little insider info, Fabiana is currently working on a brand new shape. We've got this one in for this season and it will be in for our next season, but Fabi is currently working on a shape that is going to have a smaller wheelbase. It's gonna have a 14 inch wheelbase. It's gonna be a little shorter but it's going to be for people like Fabi who have a smaller frame. Um, she's really excited about it. We're really excited to put it out. So stay tuned if you are feeling like you, you know, are a little bit smaller and maybe it's a tougher to skate these longer wheelbases. We've got something coming for you a la Fabiana Delfino. Uh, we are skating 139 Indies. These are standard stage 11s, 55 millimeters high. Excellent geometry. Today, I'm really excited. We are skating the OJ Nomads. These are 95A. These are part of the Elite family. These are 53 millimeter. And what's cool is they have this really rad shape. It's like a little bit hard edge, so it's really good for locking, but it's also a little bit thinner. Um, and I was just skating these Rictus Slims. So these are pretty, pretty rad and I'm excited to test them out. I talked to Alex Foy, who is the OJ brand manager, and I was like, where should I go? Because we're doing these at parks. And he was like, go to the most slippery park you can. So we are here at Queen Creek Park, which we've been to a bunch and we are going to keep coming to because it's awesome. These are supposed to be super good for locking in. So we're gonna skate transition, we're gonna skate the rail, um, and we're gonna see how these things lock. We've got Bronson G3s. We're keeping it classic, black mob grip tape, seven ace indie bolts, Allen, and that's what our setup is gonna be today. The board rides really smooth, which is fun, um, and I'm excited to see how it slides. I normally skate a 101. I skated a 99 not long ago, and I actually really dug it because these parks are slippery, so we'll see how this 95 goes. But for now, we're gonna kick things off. We're gonna start with a transition challenge. Starting to warm up out here, though. Oh, check out the back of this sweatshirt. Awesome. All right, so you're gonna pick this bad boy, Eric. Do it. All right, transition challenge. Hopefully it's nothing too wild and it's something maybe we can do on multiple transitions in the park. Be gentle. Front side Smith. That sounds awesome. I'm excited to see how A, the wheels lock in, uh, but also I'm excited to see sort of how they go as, you know, I mean, it's, you could definitely catch. It should be fun to see how these bad boys go we're gonna dive in we got 10 minutes for the front side smith lots of good quarter pipes uh maybe we'll try them in different places in the park <laughs> that right there's those 95s man oh they tail slide Ooh, these are sick all right so First impressions on the Nomads 95A. Awesome. First tail slide, I was a little nervous to get that stick, but no problem. It's a little bit grippier, so you gotta push a little harder, but the back tails felt awesome. And when you watch the footage, you'll hear there's probably like no noise because this park is so dusty. First impressions, digging these. We're gonna film one more line, then we're gonna do some Smith grinds. We've got 10 minutes for a frontside smith grind on the transition. Uh, maybe we'll try it on some other ones, or maybe we'll just try backsmith or something like that. But I'm confident I can front smith this thing. It may take a couple, but we'll see. All right, 10 minutes, starting now. Oh, 
That's how slick this park is. All right, front smith worked. You know what we should do? Uh, the mini ramp has an elbow. We yeah. should try to front smith around the elbow. All right, so we're gonna try, because we got the front smith, we're gonna try to front smith around the little elbow here and the mini ramp. Before we do, big shout out to Josh Kalis and Jimmy Gorecki because I don't think I've ever skated in sweatpants and it is definitely the move. I get it now. Dude, it's crazy when you're in there. I love skateboarding. I can feel the wheels gripping. Like uh, when they get all touched down, I need to be more in the back seat. Oh, look at how good that graphic is. This graphic is by Liv Rad. He's an awesome artist, a rad skater. Good human being. We got a cool vlog coming out with him soon. Wow. You know what? That's good enough for me. I don't even care. Felt awesome. Let's move on to the next one. We got five minutes left. I got a video meeting to talk about till the end volume five coming out on Thrasher December 9th, as long as all the music clears. So we're gonna stop this and move on to the rail. All right, so, so far this board's been a lot of fun. Um, I love the power ply. It's really snappy. Um, I won't lie to you, I'm just fired up to be skating a Fabiana board. Big shout out to Fabi, you rule. These wheels are great so far. We'll see though, because we're about to dive into the rail, we'll see what we get, and we'll go from there. Am I boogered out? I'm like all boogered out. <laughs> it's dusty, I don't know. Anyway, all right, we'll pick the rail one. I put a lot of new rail tricks in here. I put some really dumb ones, like some really hard ones that I don't think I have a shot of doing, but I kind of wanted to just try. So, all right, let's see. Yeah. Good, I like that you don't want that one. Uh, kick foot back feeble. Uh, we, we already did that one. Did that one. Get that out of here. Get out of here, kick foot back feeble. We got, we got time for you again later. Uh, grill front 50-50. All right, so that means I got to do... Front 50, fakey 50-50, nolly 50-50, and switch 50-50. And we got 10 minutes to do it. That's actually a good one because we are talking about the lock-in on these. We'll see how they really lock in OJ and Alex Foy. All right, so we got 10 minutes. We've got to do front 50, fakey 50-50, front side, nolly 50-50, front side, and then switch 50-50, front side, which I'm psyched about because I was talking about doing switch 50s on the round bar yesterday when I was skating with my buddies in LA, but I was scared to do it. Good excuse to try. All right, 10 minutes. Let the smoke show begin. I knew that one was gonna be scary. The other two are not bad. That Nolly one's a little scary. Oh, did I hit you? Oh, I got a footprint on there. You can see the, that's that waffle sole. <laughs> Scary. Hey, shout out Stevie Williams too. Cause he always looked the sickest in sweats.
close. You know what? It wasn't as scary to try the Switch 50 as I thought. Huh. I'm so glad that worked. I'm throwing it away, that works, dude. I don't wanna get smoked on the Switch 50. Oh, see, that's why I love doing this. Some days it's torture, other days you try something you were scared to try. Oh. Dude, the lock-in was great. Once I got my weight in on the Nolly 50, it felt totally comfortable. And then on that Switch 50, the first one I got in and obviously fell back, that's all weight. But once I got in, I think I was heel side on that. So um, they locked in great. The front 50s were awesome. Let's just do a couple more like, just lock in tricks just to show that it's like hey it really locks let's do a let's do a nose grind let's do a 5-0 Woo! too slick oh you know what we should do lock in on all the rails oh. <laughs> I have so much wingspan with these sweats, dude. Yeah. Let's grind down this one. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man, the up on top of here is so slick that I didn't even have to worry about sliding out with these. All right, let's do the wild card challenge. All right, two challenges in, check and check. I'm thankful for that today. We'll see what comes with the wild card. Just a heads up, it's a little more info on these awesome nomads. These are basically in between the easy edge and then the other two shapes, the mini combo and the hard line. So the easy edge in a 53 millimeter has an 18.5, I think it's 18.5 millimeter riding surface. Uh, these have an 18.9 millimeter riding surface. They are 30 millimeters wide, whereas your standard Easy Edge is 33 in a 53 millimeter. So these are gonna be a little bit thinner. Um, they're gonna be the thinnest wheels of the OJ collection. Um, like I said, they're gonna have that 18.9 millimeter riding surface, um, which feels really good. So overall, I'm loving these wheels. I won't lie to you when I heard about the Nomads, I didn't quite get it because I'm sort of like religiously a 101A guy, but Skating 99s, skating these 95s. Maybe I'm turning a new leaf, only time will tell. We gotta do some flat ground at some point because we haven't done anything and I got these fresh vans on. Eric's not looking. What does it say? Film or pick. Oh, you get to decide whatever it is that I'm gonna do. You literally have the world is your oyster right now. Something on the hubba. Ooh, are we talking the down hubba or the bump to hubba? The down hubba. We'll see what we can do. And these are actually way bigger than I thought. Let's see what we can pull off. Maybe you grab your board and we'll see if we can like back 50, then try a front 50 or something. Oh, whoa. That was me getting scared. Like riding a bike, right? I'm scared. So scared. Oh, ay, ay, ay. I'm very curious how that's going to go.
Felt a little scary, but felt cool. I'm so glad I tried that. Oh my god, I'm beat. Woo! That's gonna do it. It's getting that hub has scared me. It legitimately got my heart rate going. Today, we skated. Fabiana Delfino, tarot board, 825, 3183 with that 1425 wheelbase. One, 39 Indies. The OJ Nomads, 53 millimeter, 95A, part of the elite family. These wheels rule. You're gonna love them. If you got a slippery park, do yourself the favor. Bronson G3s, mob black grip tape, seven ace Indy bolts. One more time on these OJs. I am a believer. These are gonna be in my quiver of wheels to skate at slippery parks. Hope you guys had a wonderful time watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, turn on the notifications to watch more of these product videos and amazing videos from our skateboarding team. Thanks for tuning in. Yo, what's good? You wanna see some more sick, cool, crazy, wild Santa Cruz videos? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Yo, you forgot the most important thing. Along with subscribing, make sure you hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the newest Santa Cruz videos as soon as they drop. Stay tuned, we'll see you soon.